Ah! What are you doing? Have you seen Robert dancing? No. <laughs> what did you just say? Griezmann just signed for Barcelona. What? Griezmann just signed for Barcelona. What? Is the dog wedding? British, do a um, Wayne Rooney accent or a Steven Gerrard accent. You say, can I have a cup of tea? Can I have a cup of tea? <laughs> say, can I, may I have a cup of tea, sir? Can I have a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> can I have a cup of tea? What was that? May I have a cup of tea, sir? It would be marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hashir can't believe it. So posh. Wow. So he won that. Hey right, guys, welcome Effective Fam to today's video. This is the, the most popular video of our Instagram. We have over 40,000 views on it. So let's just watch. <laughs> so, so let's just watch it together. And your father was a professional footballer as well, so was he a tough coach? Yeah, he was a very tough coach still now. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, he always said, yeah, you have to work hard, you have to be professional. So that's what he said all the time. But without tough training, you wouldn't be here, you know, I wouldn't be here. And I'm really grateful for these tough messages and tough training tough sessions. Tough training. Well, tough messages. Now, where have we heard this before? Oh, yes right here in the train effective channel listen man i know all about these tough training sessions because when i look back at the the 100 day challenge all the training sessions with john moses even all the training sessions now day by day guys have you seen the instagram stories okay a thousand calories later oh my god i'm dead look at me jeez it's you die have you guys ever had that feeling where you push yourself to the very to the very limits but you keep going you push the limits and you overcome it have you guys had that feeling what a feeling that is when you when you're on that treadmill when you're running when you're in that game it's the 91st minute and you make a sprint back all the way from the attacking half to your defending half and you sprint and you get back there and you make the clearance or you sprint up and you make that goal or you just do that one extra rep that is tough training and once you get addicted to that feeling you just want it more and more. Like you crave for the feeling of pushing yourself every single day because once you don't, you just don't feel satisfied. So I used to despise any training where I had to push myself to the limit until I got used to pushing myself to the limits. And now I love it. I crave it. I don't feel satisfied until I do. And Ralph, Ralph, we talked about this other day, man. You, you said something like, you're not satisfied unless you train. It's the best feeling in the world when you train hard and it hurts, but then on the field it shows that you're the one that's been training. It's the best feeling ever. The best. The best. Right, Jake? Yes. You're not going to die. Okay. <laughs> he had some interesting drills and a long time juggling the ball, I'm told. Yeah, it was hard. I've been like four hours juggling the ball. And four hours. Yeah. Can you imagine four hours? After two hours, you see the flow like like a roller coaster. <laughs> you see the balls. There is one ball, <laughs> but you see the three balls. You know, there was crazy, crazy more memories for me. And of course, when I was a kid, you know, it was very hard. But when you think after 10 years or after 15 years, when you're thinking about it, it means a lot, you know, like about focus, about uh, losing the control, you know, this I think was very important. All right, Nick, that's enough. Come in, let's take a bath. What? But I'm still training. That's enough. Nick, it's enough, Nick. No, I'm still training, man. Now, Son's dad could be like the military commander of South Korea. If Kim Jong-un and Son's dad went to battle, man, it will go down. <laughs> what? 
Jake. Jake. Yeah. The peanut butter man. The peanut butter man. That's the man over there. What? And and without a father like Son's dad, Son just wouldn't be in the place that he is today. Personal story, yeah. I remember about ten years ago, I had this uh this mini ball, right? The mini ball. Do we have a mini ball? I had a mini ball. Yeah. I had a mini ball like <laughs> like this orange here, and I'll kick that mini ball up, and I could get, I could I could remember I got like six six kick ups, until one day I set myself this challenge. I said, all right, I'm not gonna go to sleep until I get a hundred kick ups in a row with this mini ball, and I spent three hours kicking the ball up, and I got six, then I got ten, then fifteen, then twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and then I got a hundred. Because I set myself that target, I put all my mental focus in getting a hundred, one hundred, and and yeah, guys, I felt so proud, so proud of that. So when Son's dad tells you do four hours of juggling, and that sounds absolutely crazy and ridiculous to everyone else, well, four hours of juggling, like what what kind of planet are you on? Well, it's Son that benefits from that, because that four hours, Son. Can now do 10 minutes of juggling in a row and it doesn't feel like anything. 40 minutes of concentration in a match might have been really difficult before, but now a 90 minute match after four hours of juggling straight where the ground started looking like a, a roller coaster, oh well, that's nothing for him now. And that's the kind of things that, that separate the top elite from just the average. This is a takeaway, guys. You push the limits with something that seems impossible, well, now it doesn't seem impossible. Look at these guys, just sitting, sitting, that's Jake. <sighs> Effective guests still have to work on their media training. Alright guys, to end the video, it's Effective Tuesday and today, share your toughest training in the comments below. Jake, three words for the Effective fan before we leave. Just do it. Okay.